Have you ever wondered, like, Anyway, like, what film should I use with a film camera like the Hasselblad 500CN? Let's talk about it. Me. Hello, it's me. I'm Stephen Allen. How are you doing today? Hit the subscribe button if you like old film cameras and let me know your favorite one. Since the Hasselblad can take so many different types of films, we will be touching upon films that can be used in other cameras as well. Also, too. So it's very cool that you can just give it different things. You could be like, hey, Hasselblad, take this 120. Boom, it eats it. Well, it eats it in a good way. And then you could be like, boom, take this 35 millimeter film and it will eat it again, but in a good way. You know, it eats well. The Hasselblad can shoot with so many different types of films. And I like that because it just means that I'm not limited to just 120. There are some medium format cameras that can only really handle 120 and you could try to use some other stuff with it, but it's not made for that. This Hasselblad was made to begin a manipulation you can throw a digital back on it like this. You can put in 120 film, which is used to with a 120 film back. If you want to be classic with this camera, you want to shoot with 120 film. I like to stick with 400 speed because it's good for interiors such as this. I do have light. There's a light here on me. There's light in the background. There's light all around. But shooting with 200 speed film, it probably would still be kind of dark. I have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Great counting, brah. Nine. And then this is 10 because they're little twinkle lights. So 10 different light sources. Those candles don't really count because that's just a feel of light. And the lights back here aren't like, you know, light in my front. But this one is, it's a large light right in front of me. But even with all the lights, having a 200 speed film is going to be kind of low. So I do have this Fuji film. This is in 35 millimeter film. You can shoot 35 millimeter film on a Hasselblad. You just have to use a special adapter in a film back for 120 film. I think they also have a 35 millimeter film back and it shoots vertical, long vertical photos. But with the adapter I'm talking about, you end up shooting sprocket film. So that gives you an interesting look. You can always cut out the sprockets if you don't want them. And if you do want them, they're there. So that's cool. But yeah, 200 speed is kind of difficult. This is supposed to be a good indoor and outdoor film as well as the 400. These are supposed to be kind of like average films, like anyone can shoot with it. But I find I'm able to do more with the 400 speed. Usually with the 200, I'm like, I wish I had more light. And I always wish I had more light. This is the only person in the world she really loves. When I'm shooting inside, I wish I had more light. In New York City, I wish I had more light. I guess because there's so many buildings around that's creating shade. Portra 400 is a really good film stock for the color, for the grain and all of that. I like a good Ultramax 400 because it's cheaper and I feel like I can just take photos of whatever and I care. With this, I'm like, are you taking a photo of something that has some meaning? Are you taking a photo of something that matters? Because it's expensive. With this, I'm like, I just want to try something out. If it's too dark, whatever. If it's too bright, whatever. You know, you just have more fun with it. Hasselblad, get into it. Other nice thing is that you can shoot in stacks on this camera with a Polaroid film back. You have so many options. You can shoot not only Instax Square, but also you can shoot Instax Mini. And I like the Instax Square because it has that more classic kind of Polaroid look, even though this is Fujifilm. And then this has grown on me. I didn't like it at first because I was like, it's not square. It's supposed to be square. But this can fit in your wallet. This is easier to deal with. This is kind of large. I like it a lot. It's more expensive. Like if you were taking photos at a party, this would be nice to have. You feel like you can give a photo to someone and not care. With this, you're like, I'm keeping all of the photos. I want all of them. You can't have one. You can take a picture of this picture with your phone. This person wrote BFF. So I guess it's like, you know, you can share it easily. They may not be BFF. I don't know what they are to each other. They look like models. You know, I mean, all of these people are models or actors, you know, but they don't look like, oh, they're friends or, oh, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. They look like two people that showed up to get paid to do this little shoot. I don't know what she is to him. I don't know what he is to her. Don't know. These two, they showed up to get paid 
to model, but they look like, oh, we're just friends in front of a plain background with a good drop shadow. That looks Photoshopped. Maybe they're, they both kind of look Photoshopped. But yeah, like this one looks like they're two friends. I believe it, I buy it. I know what they are to each other. They're just friends, they're hanging out. I thought about writing on my Polaroids and my Instax, but I have some here and I wrote on some of them, but I'm not really happy with that. I kind of like it just being plain, but I think that's what it was kind of designed for. That's where the chemical pot is that develops the photo, that little blank area, the chemical pots on the back, on the inside, but it's a lot of pressure to write something on it. And a few of them I wrote a little too much, so I had to cover it up. I don't want you to have all my information. Okay? Word. There is a special type of film back that is supposed to be coming out for the Hasselblad 500CM that will allow you to take photos with your Instax Mini, with your Instax Square. At first it was just Instax Mini, now it's Instax Square and I guess Instax Mini too. They've been changing a lot of things. It's called the Hasselback and I do have a video on that. But basically it would just be a film back, you know, that you stick on the back of your Hasselblad and you can take the photos. And instead of with a Polaroid film back, the little hack that I have, I have a video about that. You're taking the whole pack of film, not just one at a time. <laughs> I do have other videos on this Chanel about the Hasselblad 500CM and this phase one P20 digital bag. It's in the card, it's in the description. So check that out, finish watching this video and then go watch that video, thank. This is the month of Hasselblad. We are posting videos about, concerning, around the Hasselblad this month. March Madness Hasselblad, so check it out. Have fun, be you, do you. Okay? You, 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 you. And a little bit of me. A lot of bit of me. Me, me, me. Just watch. So this is color. This is 400. This is black and white. Elford HP5. Now you could say, why don't you just shoot in color and then in post, after you get the photo, after you get the negatives, scan it, and then just put a filter on it and make it black and white. Well, the thing about film is that they behave differently. So you might get a much better look from a black and white being in black and white versus taking a color film and then converting it to black and white. You have to manipulate it more. And often you find that the more you manipulate an image, the worse it gets. The more you can do in camera, the better. All you do is complain about the money I spend, the way I arrange the house, the clothes that I buy, every single thing that I do. The images are just different. You just get a different result with black and white. And it's fun to shoot with black and white. Sometimes I am shooting with black and white and I feel like, oh, I wish I was shooting with color because today color just kind of feels like the standard. If you're trying to capture memories, I probably would go for color because you want to like really remember that moment. That's the thing about film. There's less to choose from these days because not as many people are shooting film, but there are more and more people getting into it. And I think people are just missing kind of the physical nature of film. When you're taking a photo with this Hasselblad, it slows you down, even with the digital back on it. So this is now a digital camera, essentially, with this digital back. It still slows you down. There's no light meter. Even if there was a light meter built in, because they do have some prism viewfinder light meters that you can get, it just makes the camera a bit more bulky. But you still have to take time to compose your photo to line it up. Focus, you have to set the aperture, the shutter speed. So it takes time. And with that, I find that you are giving more thought to your photos. So with an iPhone, an iPhone like this, you might take 100 photos, 200, 500, 1,000, just to get one good photo for your Instagram. With this, you're going to be taking like two or three photos. And probably those two or three are going to be good because you're taking the time to make sure it looks just how you want it to be. And I mean, that's because it's digital, why not take a whole bunch and you'll just get a good photo out of it. But it is kind of nice to think like, okay, how could I stand? How can I make sure I could take the photo with a shutter release cable or maybe I put the timer on? How should I pose? How should I sit? How should I stand? It just, I don't know, it makes it more of an art 
form. Maybe you don't like that. Maybe you do like that, but it's just something to think about. But I just like that you can shoot so many different things with it. What is your favorite camera brand? The plan is to post three times a week, Monday and Thursday and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see again. We'll see. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up and do something to the bell. Tap it so you can turn on those post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Visit my website, Perlin.com, where you can see my art, my music, my store, my blog, my merch, my clothing, and all that good stuff and more. And until next time, take a little time to make art and be brilliant. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. And a little bit of me, a lot of bit of me. The more I keep tapping into this, Hasselblad, calm down.